Hello students, welcome to Mr. TK classes. Today we are doing infant evaluation. First in, first out method. This is our question and this is our answer book. The question reads, the following information relates to FinCalc traders for the year ended 31 December 2020. The business is owned by Tasmia. FinCalc traders sells financial calculators and it uses the periodic inventory system. Information 1. Stock balances 2. Purchases, returns and carriages 3. Sales Required A. Calculate the value of closing inventory on 31 December 2020 using the first in first out method. Before we do our calculations, this is what we need to know. Notes Point 1. Inventories are measured at the lower of cost and net realizable value. Point 2. Inventory will be measured at cost in this exercise. A. Value of closing inventory. FIFO method. Inventory will be valued at most recent cost prices as odd stock is assumed to be sold first. Our year ends on 31 December 2020, which means that this is opening stock and this is closing stock. So we need to value 290 units. The value of 290 units is represented by a question mark. We are going to value 290 units using the FIFO method. The FIFO method states that inventory that is bought first is sold first. So the inventory that the business has at the end of the financial year is the inventory that was recently bought. That's why we use the most recent cost prices. Alright, so we can see that we had opening inventory. We bought in March, July, September and November. So, November batch is the most recent batch. We are going to start from the bottom going up. We are going to value 190 units using the November batch cost price. 190 multiplied by the November batch cost price. We are going to ignore the November batch cost price because we have the total cost of 190 units here, right? So, we are just going to take this amount, 177,460. How many units do we still need to value? How many units do we still need to value? 290 subtract 190, 100 units. We still need to value 100 units. We move on to September. In September, how many units were bought? 90. Subtract 20. Right? Subtract 20. Because you can see we have returns here. So we subtract the returns. 70 units were bought. So we cannot value 100 units using the September batch cost price. Whereas in September, only 70 units were bought. So we are going to value 70 units using the September batch cost price. Right? Let's calculate the cost price. 820 plus 36. 856. Don't forget to include carriage. Because what we need to calculate at the end is total cost. Total cost includes carriage. Right? Can 856. 856 multiplied by 70. 59,920. All right. How many units do we still need to value? Thirty units. We move on to July. In July, 80 units were bought, which means that we can value all the 30 units using the July batch cost price. Right? Let's calculate the July batch cost price. 862. Right? 862. 862 multiplied by 30. 25,860. Alright. How many units do we still need to value? 290, subtract 190, subtract 70, subtract 30. 
zero, which means that we have valued all the 290 units. Now we need to add 177,460 plus 59,920 plus 25,860. 263,240. This is the value of closing inventory. We move on to B. Calculate the cost of sales for the year ended 31 December 2020. Right? This is the calculation of cost of sales. Opening stock. 140,960 plus purchases. Don't forget to take the total cost of purchases. Right? Don't forget to take the total cost of purchases, which includes carriage. 450,210. So this will give us the cost of goods available for sale. So we are going to subtract returns. We are going to subtract closing stock. We know that this is returns. This was not sold. This is closing stock. This was not sold. So we are going to subtract these two. We are calculating cost of sales or cost of goods sold. So this was not sold, this was not sold. Right? Right, returns 20 multiplied by the September batch cost price. We can see that carriages were also reversed on these items, okay? We can see that we have a note here which says carriages were also reversed on these items. Which means that we are going to say, all right, we are taking the September batch cost price, 820 plus carriage, 36. So we should add carriage because the note says carriages were also reversed on these items. So we should add 856. Right, 856. 856 multiplied by 20. 17,120. Right, subtract closing inventory. 263,240. Closing inventory is here. We have already calculated it. Right, this is our cost of sales three hundred and ten thousand eight hundred and ten. Let us move on to see the owner of FinCalc Traders Tasmia is concerned about the effectiveness of internal control measures in place. She thinks some calculators might have been stolen during the financial year. Provide a calculation to justify a concern. Give two points of advice. So we are going to calculate missing stock. Right? We are going to calculate missing stock. We are going to focus on units. Right? At the beginning, we had... 107 financial calculators. We bought 510. Right? We returned 20. We sold 320. We sold 320. So, the idea is you add all the inventory that was coming into the business. You subtract all the inventory that was going out of the business. Then the answer is closing stock as per calculation. Right? The answer is closing stock as per calculation. 
340. 340. So we compare closing stock as per calculation with closing stock as per physical count, which is 290. The difference is missing stock. Fifty. So fifty financial calculators are missing. Right? The question says give two points of advice. So we need to minimize this problem of missing stock. So what would be the advice? Point one improvement of fiscal security. So improvement of fiscal security is needed to minimize the problem of missing stock. Point two, counting of stock regularly. So this will minimize the problem of missing stock. Thank you.